number one? Where is globe member number seven? He's retired, or as we say in the spy business, member number seven has left the building. Oh dear, member seven was one of our finest members. Oh, I will miss him terribly. Can I have his seat? Fellow members of GLOBE, I want to introduce you to our newest associate, the new number seven, Numero Siete. Orale, mis amigos. Orale, my amigo. All right now, enough frivolity. Let's get down to business. We're here today to witness the maiden voyage of GLOBE's unmanned super stealth fighter and reconnaissance plane, the XR-5. Isn't she a beauty? This little lassie with a silver chassis is equipped with a state-of-the-art globe computer. We now have the same capabilities in the air as we do on the ground. But uh, if someone got hold of the XR5's computer, would they have unlimited access to all of Globe's secrets? No need to get all shook up, number three. The XR5 is invisible to all radar. The chances of anyone spotting her is a million to one. Looks like it's someone's lucky day. <laughs> What? I said, this is General Castrato. Deploy tether lines. Bueno, now we can return to base. I can't believe it. Somebody's stealing the XR5. No need to worry. The XR-5 is equipped with an explosive device for just such an event as this. I'll activate it now. They're jamming our signal. I'm afraid we lost the XR-5 and the computer with all our data on it. If it falls into the wrong hands, we're finished, man. yours. Oh, yeah, I, I think it is mine. Let me put this in my bike pack so I don't lose it again. I'll be right back, Lise. What's up, Yarly? Big trouble, sir. Looks like you're in the kitchen again, Agent Bruno. Yes, but I have to go out and run an errand. I'm running out of seasoning. No salt? No pepper. What's up, Globies? Uh, seems our new jet was stolen from right under our noses, man. That's terrible. No, that's unfortunate. The fact that a state-of-the-art computer was on board and our entire operation is accessible, that's terrible. How much information is in that computer? Everything we know, including the identity of all of our operatives. Yeah, but I mean, is it something important? 
just kidding. I get your point. Where do I start looking? She was forced down over Van Haver. Castrato? That's right, Bruno, baby. It'll take him six hours to download all our files. That's all the time you have. That's all the time I need. Bruno the Kid, out. Mom? Dad? Bruno, your father and I had to drive over to Aunt Selenia's house. She got her big toe caught in the bathtub faucet, and she's too embarrassed to call 911. We couldn't find you at the park, so please stay at home until we get back tonight. We trust you. Love and kisses, Mom. <laughs> this is getting easier and easier. That is. It's gotta be. I'd recognize those coconuts anywhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Buy me a drink, sailor boys. What do you have for us, Harris? Well, rumor has it that the XR5 is in an airfield at the back side of the island. But be careful, Castrato has his fortress heavily armed. Harris, you wanna come with us? Oh, would that I could. But I've got two more shows plus the matinee a lot. I'd hate to disappoint my fans. Oh, I have this for you also. A pen. No, oh, no. It's a ballpoint air conditioner. There's 50,000 BTUs of liquid nitrogen packed inside. One spritz, and it'll reduce the temperature by 20 degrees for one square mile. Cool. Cool. Oh, I get it. But be careful. One small leak and you don't get ink stained, you get ice cubed a lot. Oh, and so you don't feel left out, Jarlsberg. Here's a little something for you. A purse? Oh, I'm afraid it doesn't go with what I'm wearing. Oh, don't kid yourself, Bubula. It's you. But it's not a purse, you silly person. Pull the zipper and it turns into a full-size two-man tent. Oh, 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 there's my intro music. Oh, good luck, gotta run. I'm on next. My public awaits. The next four miles of roadway paid for by friends of Castrato. I didn't think he had any friends. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't. Looks like we're just in time. Now stay here, Yarly. I'm gonna sneak in, get on board, and take a fast jet back to the U.S. of A. Uh, but if I stay here, sir, who's going to fly the jet? Oh, yeah. Good thinking, Yarl Know-It-All. Let's go! Just a minute, sir. That's an electric fence. There may be as much as 100,000 volts running through the wires. Uh, make that 500,000 volts. And it looks like the fence is also buried into the ground. Well, if we can't go through it, or we can't go under it... <laughs> this is what I call getting one up on the opposition. This is what I call a no-frills flight. Harris's tent sure came in handy. And it's reusable. <laughs> yeah! Now we just need to get inside the jet. Leave that to me, sir. Attention, attention. Charo esta en la cocina. Coochie, 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 coochie. All right. Awesome, Yarly. What did you say? Well, a rough translation is, Charo is in the kitchen, coochie-coochie, coochie-coochie. It's as good as saying Jerry Lewis to a Frenchman. Air Bruno, ready for takeoff. What happened? I emptied the tanks and sold the fuel to my people for 300% markup. Wards, arrest the spies! <laughs> Uh, Yarly, this adventure may take a little longer than first planned. Are you all right, sir? Saying I'm fine might be a bit of a... Stretch. 
Congratulations, amigos. You have both been selected to be Van Hava's first astronaut. <laughs> At least half of you will experience space flight. Unfortunately, the other half will stay here at Grand Zero. You see, I'm severing our relations. You won't get away with this, Castrato. Oh, on the contrary, Espio. I am downloading Glob's secret files as we speak, and you will be ripped in half in a few seconds. Yeah, but you're gonna have to live with our deaths the rest of your life. Trust me, that I can handle. A fast death is never a good death. Sorry I can't stay around for all the pain and suffering. But the head shadow is down at our kitchen and I wouldn't miss her for anything. Coochie coochie. Quick! Yarly! Uh, see if you can work one of your hands free! I've been trying since I got here. Maybe I can get one of your hands free. Sorry, sir. I can only free one hand. Well, one's enough. For what? Waving goodbye to me? We're going to be torn in half in seconds. Not with this! A pen? Harris's air conditioner pen with liquid nitrogen. <laughs> and now we'll end on a very satisfying note. High E over C. Yarly, next time we come to the tropical paradise, remind me to take a jacket. Any ideas how to get in this time? Follow me, Yarly! But, sir... Oh, well. When in the Alps. Beat you by three inches, Charlie. Charo está en la cocina. Cuchi cuchi. I'm not falling for that again. E Gloria Estefan también. Gloria Estefan. <laughs> Good thinking, Charlie. Oh, she's right up there with Charo. What about the jet, sir? I'm sure they haven't refueled it. We'll leave the jet. Just take the computer. Well, let's hope they haven't finished the download. <laughs> no sweat. And lots of time to spare. But, sir, haven't they downloaded most of the information already? Well, there's a falsify option on the hard drive. They need to download the entire drive to descramble it. Very good, sir. May I suggest we depart from this lovely bit of paradise? I'm with you, Yarly Poo. Let's grab the Globe computer and get out of here. Well, once again, we win. Oh, I do hate it when you say that. Something always goes wrong. <laughs> Not this time. I'm gonna call Globe and tell them the job's completed. Attention, Globites. Attention, Globites. Mission completed. We lost the jet, but the computer is ours. Your identities are secure. Well, love me tender, Bruno, man. Good job. Eh, uh, pardon me. What exactly did he do? I snatched back the computer before Castrato could download the entire drive. Ay, Chihuahua. Um, what does he mean by Ay, Chihuahua? Yes, what in heaven's name do you mean by Ay, Chihuahua? We don't say Ay, Chihuahua at Globe. Well, you see, I am from Van Hala, and I know how evil and despotic Castrato can be. So, I install a computer virus at the end of the jet's computer. I tip Castrato off when the plane will be flying overhead, knowing he's going to try to steal it. Hmm? Oh, Chihuahua! Don't you see? When he downloaded the virus, it would wipe out all of his military computers. He'd be destroyed! A noble intention gone awry, man. You endangered an operative's life. Globe is an international organization. We don't serve one man's interests. I am one man, see? But I did it for my peoples, to end Castrato's reign of terror. So, Castrato has downloaded most of our secrets, but not the virus. There's only one thing left to do. Flyman and Lubadoo! I say, this doesn't seem to be much of a disguise, sir. We're sure to be discovered. 
That's the plan, Jack. And when they catch us, we run, leaving the computer behind. While they grab it, we skedaddle, and it's clear sailing all the way home. Ingenious. A toast to General Castrato. May his days of terror and rain go quickly down the drain. Hey, aren't those the two guys who tried to steal the XR5? Okay, Yarly, time to make our clean getaway. Going somewhere? Excelente, mis hombres. I am very lucky to have such crack troops that they could thwart your futile attempt to escape. We should have known better. Naturally. I'm assuming you destroyed the XR5's computer immediately. No, President. It's still working. Excelente. This is almost too easy. But there's an old expression in our country. When a ship will fly at night, the monkey makes the flower bloom. Another expression. Never look the gift monkey by its tail. Yes, I can see why your people revere you. I will finish downloading all of the globe files, so when I kill both of you, I will know you both, up close and personal. In less than 50 seconds, all the information will be mine, and you will be dead. At least we'll die knowing that we've infected Castrato's computer with the virus. It's activated in the last 10 seconds of download. That's very reassuring information to take to the other side. We're almost there. 15, 14, 13, 12. Here goes the virus. I think that's all the information we need. I will kill you now. Hold it, hold it, Casty baby, hold it. There's 10 seconds left of juicy globe tidbits for people like you who just need to know every detail. The game is over, spy boy. I wasn't born yesterday. No agent in his right mind would hang around the scene of the crime unless he wanted to get caught. Yeah, but I'm just a kid spy. What do I know? I know you probably put the computer virus on the last 10 seconds of the hard drive that would destroy my entire computer network. <laughs> As if. Yes, and I know two more things. One, I now have all of the globe's secret information. And two, you're going to die. Ready? Aim. Hey ho! Hello in there! Excuse me, can you tell me how I can find the cocina? I'm opening there tomorrow and I, I want to rehearse on the stage, you understand? Sure, go down the pad and make it like the lice palm tree. You can't miss it. What's with your neck? Don't be so suspicious. It's just sore. Will you try dancing with coconuts and pineapples on your head? Boy, I don't know how Carmen Miranda did it. Hmm, neither do I. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Fire! Ah! Run, Yali! Idiot! You let them escape! How are we going to get out of here, sir? Well, we're not going to just yet. I was afraid you were going to say that. First, we have to engage that virus. But how? It's clear across the room. Yarly, buy me five seconds. Okay, sir. Uh, excuse me, would any of you happen to have any Grey Dijon? There he is! It's an impossible shot, sir. They're standing in your line of fire. Not impossible, Yarly. Just challenging. <laughs> Better get out of here. That thing's gonna blow. Running, sir. Uh, can I borrow the last of that liquid nitrogen pen, please? Sure, Yarly. What do you have in mind? Oh, just some fun. Yeah, 
I'm in luck. My folks aren't even home yet. Somehow with you, sir, I don't think luck has anything to do with it. Well, good night, Yarly. Hey, what do you think happened to the new number seven? Oh, I'm sure Globe forgave him and he's back at work. Mangos y papaya, puñas y boñato, plátanos y piña. Thank <laughs> you.